Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Haley Hernandez and I'm Zach Lajway, a former Sci Falls High School's teacher's aide is in jail. 66 year old Ennis Hernandez is accused of having sexual contact with a special needs student several times. KPRC 2 reporter Sabira Rayford has more on the disturbing allegations. The prosecutor says students and staff complained about the teacher's behavior around the student launching an investigation. There was observations by other teachers uh, and other students um, that led to them reviewing videotapes and then bringing in the student uh, and asking her directly if there's anything inappropriate going on. The now 18 year old student told a human resource director with the district the abuse started in September of 2022 when she was 17. She told investigators Hernandez inappropriately touched her during class and showed naked pictures of himself. The defendant had told the complaint that he was going to show her a picture of his cat and ended up showing him a picture of his cat lying on his stomach without wearing clothing. Hernandez is charged with two counts of improper relationship between education and student and one count of sexual performance by a child. Hernandez was a life skills paraprofessional at Sci Falls High School. The teen told investigators the abuse went on for months until the investigation was launched in February of this year. Hernandez was placed on administrative leave and then he resigned on March 28th. And even though this was a student who has disabilities um, that makes her more vulnerable, especially in the classroom to people that are there to help her. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of our child abuse statutes or even sexual assault statutes don't cover people with disabilities. The school's principal addressed the charges in a letter to parents, saying in part that Hernandez's actions are, quote, intolerable and not representative of Cypress Falls High School or Cypher ISD employee standards of conduct. Children and young adults with disabilities or even just young adults um, are vulnerable portions of our population. Hernandez received a $200,000 bond. Reporting in Cypress, Severe Rayford, KPRC 2 News.